for me, the interesting thing is about power. So a lot of people think about decentralization in terms of technology. So not everything, not all the data or not all the resources are in one place. Um, but what happens is when things are centralized, you know, whether because we're using Facebook and Facebook has all our data, um, or because you know, resources are centralized, what that means is actually these systems are not very resilient and they're, it's very difficult to um, police them or really to provide options and choice. So decentralization is interesting on a kind of technical and governance and power level. If you had different sources of power, that means any individual power can be held to account because if all the power is in one place, there's no way to make it accountable apart from with another source of power, which could be number of people or money or something else. Um, but you need that decentralization really for any kind of uh, progressiveness or transparency. You know, when power becomes more and more centralized, um, the most important priority ends up being you know, how to maintain that power. You know, Google started off saying, don't be evil, but like, as they've become bigger and bigger and bigger, it's more really about continuing the machine and making sure these services uh, work. And once you sort of have some kind of uh, decentralization, then there is choice for consumers, there's um, different possibilities, and it's, you know, it's a more interesting space. It's very difficult to create that. So one of the things that, that pushes that forward, technically speaking, is open standards and open source. I think there's actually quite a lot of uh, interest in kind of collaborative, cooperative data ownership because as we move to a more information age, digital age, the things that are now kind of possible in terms of information and decision making and everything else through data is, is really kind of almost like of a different category to what was possible before. And the ownership of data or the control, the access to data is quite quite important for for you know everything from city services and governance to uh, business models within companies. You know whether they're kind of data collective because they're advertising driven or because you know that's the value add. And so kind of more shared models of data where data is treated as a kind of common good or as a commons, I think, are emerging.